you, you talked about being uh, driven, performance driven as a child. It was kind of instilled in you by your mind, you know, some reputation and performance. And it seemed like you really pride yourself on that. Um, and that's what gets, gets you going when you have an efficient day and you feel like you've achieved something, right? So, and you also said failure is not an option. Um, is there a time, we've talked to a lot of people today that tell us about times they were really struggling, right? And how that um, was a gift yeah. later going through that. Do you have a time like that when you feel like you failed and had to recover? Um, in all honesty, not until recently. Yeah. Um, and not that things were easy per se, but they've been relatively easy. You know, I, I and I've worked hard. You know, so it's sort of like I've 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 I think equated working hard with being able to achieve things or get things or go to a, a school or a college or get a job. Um, but but it wasn't until recently where I really felt like, oh my gosh, like, is it an option? Like. Is this like could this and it's just a series of a lot of events, you know, in in my life. But it's I it, it's given me a new perspective for sure. Um, but I, 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 too, listen to the stories that you're mentioning here. And, and I I'm in awe of, of those kinds of challenges early in life. I, I, I just didn't have those kinds of obstacles, I think I just had a very strong-willed mother and a very, you know, it's like wh whatever that combination was, it just sort of drilled an ethic into me that just um, sort of set me in motion. I hope that answers that. I got another completely unrelated question. <laughs> it's gotta be quick. This is about true crime. Oh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I, I'm southeast, so I don't know, but it seems like all the women down there watching these true crime shows. Yes. And and by extrapolation of that, they think everybody's a serial killer, right? Uh, uh -huh. you, you, they won't be, you can't hitchhike anymore. I don't know if it's post COVID or whatever. <laughs> but they'll do stuff at you, you know. Um, it's just that it's changed. Something's changed. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is and what this fascination with true crime and how that affects the fear content in society in general? I'm obsessed with true crime, obviously. Um, <laughs> She's when, made all when, the true crime. No, when my daughter said Nancy Grace, I was like, we've got a problem. I've been I've been listening to too many podcasts in her with an earshot. Um, uh, I think that there's and 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 women do drive drive this. It there's there is something about mysteries and solving mysteries and being able to partake in storytelling that puts you just a few steps ahead mm -hmm. of the people solving the crime so that you feel like you solved it, you know? Um, and, and there's a lot of the very, um, very skilled people that put those things together to make the audience feel that way. I think for me personally, I love prison shows too because I don't want to be in a prison, but I want to be a fly on the wall in a prison. And so I, I love just, pe like there's something about peeking in and that's gotta be the fascination is that there is this other element that, and, and it's creeping even closer in society. You know, these people are being exposed because of technology or DNA or whatever it is. But um, I just think the fascination is solving a riddle, solving a puzzle, solving a crime, and then having eyes into something you wouldn't otherwise see with your own. Which I, I hadn't thought about that before, but there's a, there's a prison show that I love uh, called 60 Days In. Have you oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. I can't get enough of that. Oh yeah. I ain't going in there, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm happily watch the peak they gave totally. me to be in there. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. Thank you.